Ben Carson, we were just asking yesterday. Matt said, Carson's been quiet lately. And then um, later that night, I, it's like I have like a, a cure. It's like there are definitely groups of people now that anytime something happens with Gorka or Carson, yeah. they hit me up immediately. It's like real life Google alert. It's like a real life Google alert. And, and now everybody knows the amazing comments that Ben Carson made about immigration and slavery. But this doozy also came up. I think, was this at the same speech? So this was another amazing moment because we also talk a lot about like there was this scenario where Ben Carson was actually going to become like a James Bond villain and he would do like work on his own brain, you know, just like all this stuff. So here's Ben Carson now talking about the magic of the human brain. And this is a sort of like, it's a motivational story. But there is an interesting path that he gets to uh, really just sort of articulating the kind of awe-inspiring nature of the human cognitive capacity. Here he is yesterday at the Department of Housing and Urban Development talking about the magic of the human brain. And every human being, regardless of their ethnicities or their background, they have a brain. Pause it. The human brain. Steve Bannon's like, I don't know about all that. <laughs> Different kind of brains, Dr. Carson. All right, go ahead. The human brain. There is nothing in this universe that even begins to compare <laughs> with the human brain <laughs> and what it is capable of. <laughs> billions and billions of neurons hundreds of billions of interconnections. It remembers everything you've ever seen, everything you've ever heard. I could take the oldest person here, make a little hole right here on the side of the head, <laughs> and put some depth electrodes into their hippocampus and stimulate, and they would be able to recite back to you verbatim a book they read 60 years ago. <laughs> It's all there. It doesn't go away. It go away. You just have to learn how to recall it. But that's what your brain is capable of. can process more than 2 million bits of information per second. You can't overload it. Have you ever heard people say, don't do all that, you'll overload your brain? You can't overload the human brain. <laughs> if you learned one new fact every second, it would take you more than three million years to challenge the capacity of your brain. So then you can. It can't be done. So we need to concentrate a little less can. on what we can't do and a little more on what we can do. All right. I would like to request, and I am available to assist this project in any way, I Get rid of Neil deGrasse Tyson on Cosmos. I want Ben Carson to be the public face of every science program on PBS, the Discovery, wherever. I would pay, I would watch that every single day to watch Ben Carson walking around like a rainforest or a museum exhibit being like, if you put an electrode on your brain, you can literally experience being a sequoia. The whole so he wanted to cut think about what we're human. We're, I'm a human can, not a human can't. <laughs> <laughs> if you the whole he wanted to cut the side of the oldest person in the audience's head was really big. That's uh, the best way to demonstrate this point. Way to demonstrate if this you make point. a little hole in an elderly person's the side of their head, just a little thing, and then shove some electricity in that thing. <laughs> They'll start reading children's books. And they go, oh, my God, Peter Pan. I thought I had forgot you. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the head of housing and urban development. Hey, everybody. Sam Cedar here. Donald Trump is a bad guy. Believe me. It's true. It is true, and you can subscribe to this channel by subscribing to this channel. It's true.